Hey, I'm Ainsley with Curbside Cycle, and today we're chatting about the recent Muller Nevo 3 City Bike. Recent Muller was started by Marcus Rees and Heiko Muller, two dads, entrepreneurs, and inventors. They focus on cycling as a way forward into the future. These bikes are designed to live in urban environments as well as off-road environments and are designed to replace your second car. So who is this bike for? You can see that the Nevo 3 has what we call a low step design, meaning that there's no crossbar here, only the main bar here. This makes it easy to get on and off when you're carrying a huge load on the back of the rack or if you've got hip mobility issues and have trouble getting on and off a bike. This is especially important for people in cities who are often carrying loads, kids, cargo, or are constantly getting on and off their bike. So when you're buying an e-bike, you wanna take a look at the three most important components, the motor, the battery, and the display. All three of these parts are gonna work in tandem and make sure that the bike functions as it's designed to. This bike uses a Bosch motor system, meaning that it's really well powered by German engineering. The motor in this bike is a mid-drive motor and it's the Bosch Performance CX motor. This motor is really quiet and reliable and offers up to 400% pedaling support, meaning that for every pedal stroke you put in, you're getting four back in turbo mode. It offers 85 Newton meters of torque compared to other bikes, 60 Newton meters of torque, meaning that you're gonna get that extra push exactly when you need it. The beauty of a well-designed e-bike motor system is that it smoothly kicks in when you need it and quietly drops to the background when you don't. There's no jerkiness or waiting for a motor to kick in when you need it. This motor is very responsive and reads your pedal strokes a thousand times a minute. The battery of this bike is nothing to sneeze at. You've got four different options to pick from. As with all recent molars, there is a menu of options. The first option is the PowerTube 500 watt. This battery will give you about 100 kilometers of range at your maximum and sits within the body of the bike here. The PowerTube 625 offers you a little bit more range, giving you a maximum of 125 kilometers on a single charge and also sits within the frame of the bike. If you want even more range, you can go with the dual battery option, which gives you 1000 watts or 1125 watts of power. What this translates to in distance is up to 200 kilometers or 250 kilometers of transportability on a single charge. The third element is the display. This is the brains of the bike and does more than just control the motor. You've got four different options for displays. First of all, we've got the Intuvia. It's pretty simple. It's got thumb controls for assist levels with basic information on speed, range, and battery level displayed on a black and white screen. The Kiox is for fitness junkies. It's got a glass touch screen, as well as fitness data, including cadence and calories. It notifies you if you're traveling above or below your average speed to motivate you to go quicker. It also connects to a heart rate monitor, records trips, and sends data to e-bike online portals or the e-bike connect phone app. This one also comes with navigation. It's got route planning capability online that it can send to the Kiox device to connect to apps like Strava, and give you responsive orienteering navigation. The bike we've caught here comes with the Nion display, which is for off-road exploring and fitness. The fitness capabilities are the same as the Kiox we've just mentioned, but it's also got navigation that saves addresses and recently visited maps, plus place markers to find your way back to a spot when you're riding trails. The last option is a smartphone hub, which unfortunately is not available with a roll-off internal gear hub. It connects with a Kobe bike app to provide you fitness stats, music, podcasts, audiobooks, on road, as well as the ability to make or take calls. The mount on the bike charges the phone and there's a thumb shifter to control what's going on on the phone. It also features a simpler black and white display to use when you don't want to use your phone. A recent Muller wouldn't be a recent Muller if it wasn't adaptable to the extreme, and that boils down right to the accessories. The cargo capabilities of this bike are immense. You've got a few different options for configuration based on what you're carrying. This bike comes with a rear carrier 
which is capable of carrying up to 45 pounds of cargo. Your Costco load of groceries, no problem. If you need a bit more carrying capability, you can go with the optional front carrier, which mounts to the bolts here. It can carry up to 11 pounds, meaning you've got enough space for a handbag or that extra load of granola bars. If you want to have a waterproofed option, you can get the front carrier with bag, which provides a zippered roll top 18 liter waterproof bag to keep everything dry and secure. As we mentioned earlier, Reese & Muller is a customizable bike company, meaning that you can get all the parts that you need and none that you don't. When you're choosing gearing for this bike, you've got three different options, Touring, Vario, and Roll-Off. The first option is a Shimano Dior XT 11-speed drivetrain. What that means is that you've got one cog in the front, an 11 in the back, and an external derailleur. This system is great if you're riding three seasons and don't need winter capability, or want something quick and simple for urban riding. The next two options feature internal hub systems, meaning all the gears are kept inside an internal hub at the back. This makes things incredibly low maintenance, and four season ready. The Vario system features an Enviolo 380 internal gear hub. This system has an incredibly wide gear ratio, meaning the space between your lowest gear and your highest gear, and features continuous shifting. So what is continuous shifting? That means that when you're going up a hill, you don't have to click into gears the way that you do on a traditional bike. You can just smoothly go between the range and pick exactly where you need to be, making this a truly adaptable bike for hills. The third option is a roll-off 14-speed hub. If you know anything about hubs or world expeditions, you know that this hub is designed for that exactly. This hub can travel for 60,000 kilometers before needing service, making this a truly dependable machine. So whereas the external drivetrain on the Shimano Dior comes with a traditional chain, both the Vario and the roll-off options come with a Gates belt drive. This is technology that was transferred from motorcycles and motorcycle motors to bicycles. It features a carbon band that goes between the front and rear cogs and is incredibly strong. This thing can last for 30,000 kilometers before needing replacement, and you never have to worry about oiling it or getting anything on your pants. Now we've come to a junction point on this bike. You can either choose the GX option or the heavy duty option, but not both. The GX option is designed for if you're doing on-road as well as off-road riding. It features Schwalbe Smart Sam tires, which have a very low profile in the middle, making them quick on roads, but grippy, nubby edges, which make them excellent at cornering on dirt track. They also come with GP3 grips, which are designed by doctors in Germany, and give you a secondary hand position. The heavy duty package is for riders who are a little bit larger or want extra carrying capability. This package includes a reinforced handlebar, stem, and pedals meaning that you can put a little bit of extra force into things without worrying about sensitivity. This also brings the maximum rider and weight limit of this bike from 310 pounds up to 350. As a bonus, this one comes with a wider saddle for comfort. Okay, so that's all the options that we have to worry about with this bike. Now let's chat about what's the same regardless of which Nevo 3 you pick. The riding position on this bike is moderate and adjustable. It's got an adjustable stem, so you can bring the handlebars closer to you or farther away. In urban environments, you might want to be sitting more upright to be seen by cars and also see what's going on around you. And in a rural environment where you're doing long kilometers, you might want to be a little bit more aggressive so you can adjust the stem to be down. As with most recent Miller bikes, this frame is aluminum, meaning that it's rust proof and lightweight. This makes the bike incredibly durable as well as reliable. Nevo 3s feature a thud buster seat post meaning that this thing is going to turn cobblestones into clouds. Recent Muller being a German company doesn't skimp on parts. They feature German-made Magura brakes that are hydraulic and disc, meaning that if you're in a really rough area with a lot of water or really inclement conditions, you will have maximum stopping power. The benefit to hydraulic brakes is also that they work when there's temperature fluctuations between plus five and minus 10, meaning that your brake cables won't freeze up and you're going to have stopping power even in the winter. Keeping with German tradition, Ries & Muller also features Busch & Muller and Supernova lights, both German companies. The Supernova Mini 2 front light offers 235 lumens focused exactly where you need it, meaning that this bike is comfortable on power outage roads as well as urban streets. The Busch & Muller Top Light 2C rear light features two LEDs in a C-shaped position that surround a reflector, meaning that you've got extensive visibility come night or day. Like most recent Mullers, this bike comes with an Abus rear wheel lock. 
This isn't a lock that you're gonna be using to lock up your bike when you're walking away from it, but it's perfect if you're stopping to grab takeout or hanging out in the park with friends. This lock makes sure that your bike can't be ridden away by an opportunistic thief. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any more questions about Reese and Miller or the Nevo 3 in particular, you can find a really helpful blog on our website called Why Reese and Miller that goes into detail on all of the Reese and Miller bikes and why you would pick one over the other. There's also the product page on our website that goes into detail on the Nevo 3 specifically. If you have further questions about this bike that you'd like to ask a person, or you wanna make a sales appointment, you can do that on our website. We're booking in-person as well as remote sales appointments to service people both in Toronto and across North America. To see more videos on Reese and Muller, as well as other folding, cargo, and city bikes, you can subscribe to our channel or find us online at curbsidecycle.com.